Hello and welcome to another episode. I'd like to say my 12 volt problems are actually getting better, but they seem to have gotten worse. Um, I was taking stuff in and out of the car on Friday morning and the boot had been open 15 minutes and um, I did video everything that went on so you can see and uh, I'm coming to the conclusion my 12 volt battery is knackered, kaput, uh, no good. Anyway, if you watch this recording from Friday morning, you'll see um, the video of the error happening live. Uh, it wasn't that hard to reproduce it. I wasn't looking to reproduce it. I was just using my car as normal. Doors are open, tailgate open, uh, not putting any stress on my car. Anyway, watch this. Yep, reproduce the error. There we go. And 12 volt is 92% state of charge, but it's it's because it's not charging the battery. I think that's triggered the warning there because it's consuming and not not enough to charge it. So that's what the warning is all about. So I'll try turning it off. And that's the boot being closed and there's no there's no lack of power and that's taking it down to 91 percent and now i'll try bringing the car back on weirdness um, I'll try plugging in the vehicle to load adapter. This must need a bit of 12 volt, it's stopping that from working as well, so that trick's not working. And the push button on the door is not... Oh, it is. Bring it back on, but I think the air is going to be there. I press power button with key. But, but, but I've got 90% state of charge. No, I'm going to have to boost it again. And today it's Sunday. Um, I, it's been a nice day so I decided to wash the car. So I had the tailgate and boot open for a few minutes and each of the doors open for a few minutes and of course Kia Connect was sending alerts um, back to Kia Connect whilst the doors were open saying the car's not locked. And I couldn't have had them open more than five or ten minutes. Um, anyway after closing the tailgate and, and, and the boots um, I I approached the car to, to uh, carry on washing it and then the mirrors auto opened but you could see they were slowing down like it was losing 12 volt power. Um, then if you look at, um, I've put the, um, the battery monitor back on because I need, I need it to prove what's going on with this. Um, I took it off uh, whilst the car was being serviced because they, they, they blame it, any extra thing for anything and if they see that when you're trying to um, prove a battery's faulty they say oh that's parasitical load and blame it on that so they have to come off before they go into the service. Right so I open the battery monitor and I let it sink and before I started the, um, it was 98% or 90, 99% and then after I'd done the door openings, it was dropping towards low 90s. 
and if I open the graph, the historical graph for today, uh, let's go back to last night. So I'd been using VT vehicle to load to uh, to condition the battery, the 12 volt battery, and you can see it was it was pulling in 13.3 um, volts. And then when I turned it off uh, towards what time is it um, again towards 11 11 p.m. It dropped down to 11.9 and just gradually down, but it stayed well up in the 12.9. So if I go the next day, started the day 12.9, and over the night it must have boosted itself because it's because it went up a bit. It remained at 12.9. Um, I think I moved the car with uh, the remote parking assist because I was going to wash the car later and that's what the dip there is. Uh, that was only a slight dip. Then it's 12.7. And another dip when I moved it back. And then I'm not quite sure Oh, I must have, when it went down to 10.1, that's when I opened the tailgate, I think. Or maybe I came out to the car and checked it, I don't know. But as I, as I move my finger around, you can see the voltage going up and down as, it, as I'm doing things, opening windows or... Um, I think I started doing washing the car in the afternoon, so those dips are when I'm uh, opening the doors or windows or doing a Kia Connect to it to check on it. Kia Connect thinks the 12 volt battery is fine, of course. And then as I get towards the end of cleaning the car, it falls off a cliff. And we end up in nine voltville, and nine volts isn't enough to sit in the car and start it, as I found out on Friday. So uh, my plan was just to either get vehicle to load to boost it back up, or to get the AC charging working, which will also boost it back up. So I put my uh, booster pack on on the 12 volt, and so I could open the car and then put the charger on and it started charging and then I took the booster back off and then I gave it 10 minutes and then I put the vehicle to load adapter on which conditioned the 12 volt and just left it going so it, it charges itself and it's been doing that all afternoon since so you can see the graph that's where we are now to a few minutes ago and on um, Car scanner, it says we're at 100% on 12 volt state of charge and it's still sticking in 13 volts despite that. So currently everything's tickety boo, but as soon as I try and do anything complicated that takes the 12 volt, if the car's off and it's not charging, it'll rapidly lose its, its power and amps. Um, but in, been in contact with John Godfrey who's on the forums uh, and, he, and he's had this issue and he said another way you can force it to start charging the 12 volt is to do a remote climate if you can get it to work and it has enough power. So I'm getting the discharge warning now which is weird when it's uh, it's actually 100% charged. Anyway, so I've got the 12 volt monitor on and it's working again as long as I don't turn it off if I drive anywhere I can leave it in utility mode and, and lock it it'll just be okay or if I bring the booster I can probably get it to work with the vehicle to load trick or the remote climate trick um, but it's not a good place to be in so um, it's a coronation weekend and it's bank holiday Monday tomorrow so I can't actually call the dealer 
till Tuesday uh, to book it in. But that's the next step. Um, as for proving it, you can prove it in a few minutes by just leaving the doors open. Um, I can't see how they can't replace this, but I mean, there's probably a waiting list um, for parts as usual. Anyway, that's where we are with 12 volt battery wars part 2. Thanks for watching.